Hello friends, Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo and as always thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, you know it does not work without you guys. Okay, so um, we'll be here at 9 o'clock Eastern so all of you Eagle fans that want to get your pound of flesh Feel free to come on in and troll. I see oh. Steeman Willie Beeman is now back. Hey, you know, I, I unblocked him months ago, and he said he just realized today that he was unblocked and was back. So, you know, yeah, D just be prepared for a whole lot of stuff. But we got a lot of stuff to talk about with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I'm going through all kinds of emotion, but here's some news on Leighton Van Der Esch, who's missed the last five games. And even before he missed time, you could tell that there was something not quite right with him. He was taking terrible angles um, in his tackling. You could tell that he couldn't tackle with force and stuff, and that there was something wrong. Oh, wait. That might be going around with the Cowboys' defense, because I think they all kind of had that problem. But be that as it may, Leighton Van Der Esch is getting his problem taken care of. Apparently, it's been a bulging disc, and he's going to be having an invasive surgery to take care of that issue, and they say he will be ready for training camp. So I guess that's good news to hear that it's not career-ending or anything like that, but the Cowboys have been kind of quiet and mums about what exactly it is. There's some nerve damage that's there, apparently, and that's what's been causing it. And it's kind of crazy because um, your spinal cord and your neck and everything else, it's kind of crazy. For me, I've had three bulging discs in my back. And when I did, it was weird because my back really wasn't hurting as much as my butt and my thigh going down into my knee. And I remember going to the doctor and talking about, this is years ago, Doc, my thigh and my knee and my butt, it's just killing me. And he said it's a pinched nerve uh, from the slipped disc that's in your back that is causing the, uh, the pain and the numbness that was going down your leg. So apparently that's kind of what's going on with this neck injury uh, situation. And, well, it's getting to be that time of year where you start shutting people down and you start getting in shape for next year. I guess in a way, the reality is, had we beat the Eagles and, you know, beat the Giants, go to the playoffs, maybe get, you know, another game in and, you know, probably lose that with the way we've been Jekyll and Hyde, you're just prolonging before we get to the offseason. At this point, this team was not the team that would be able to go for a Super Bowl. I know a lot of people will say is you never really root to lose, but at this point, you got to start thinking about tomorrow. And this Dallas Cowboy team has been too short-sighted where we don't look at the long picture. And the long picture is, is had we probably won and gone to the playoffs, that Jason Garrett would be back. And we need a different person to come in to put these guys on edge. Every player in that locker room knows exactly what to do to keep Jason Garrett happy. And when you listen to these guys doing interviews, they sound like Jason Garrett. There is no fire, there is no passion, there is no leader out there that is an emotional leader. And when you think about what Des Bryant basically tweeted yesterday, you know, you had number one offense and you had the best defense since the 90s, there are no more excuses. I can't argue with that. We've had more players than most, but yet we just don't seem to figure it out. So we'll be talking about all this tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys join me. i um, been packing up the shot glasses that are going out to, for all the people who donated to Justin. And all the super chats that people have done yesterday and today, we'll do another fathead <coughs> drawing tonight uh, during the show. So we'll be doing that. L4G Custom Fabrication. You won. That's right. You were a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, I need you to email me at cowboysmark94gmail so that way I can get that to you. Other than that, guys, you're up to date with all that is America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. See you tonight, 9 o'clock.